my man, he's a player, they come late. Oh. Anybody. And they'd say, what and I'd say, what happened? Well, this, this, this. So I said, look, I'll numerize them. From now on, if it's traffic, just say one. If it's uh, your wife wasn't home for you to leave in time, say two. So I've numerized them. So when the skipper said you land, I said, one. What's your excuse? Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, look at that. Oh, man. My favorite is the uh, Marcella chicken. Without a doubt, it's the best. Oh. Hello, George. How are you, George? Thank you, George. Thank you. Well, you come straight from the show? You know? Yeah, no, like good for <laughs> yeah what's up, Donnie? How are you? Underdressed. Boys, show our suit. You wore the right uniform. Don't worry about mine. You got the right one on. I had four guys that could really wing the bat. And I wanted to get those four guys in the lineup, but I can't play four outfielders at the same time. So I got to take one of those guys and get him at third base. So I called Guerrero and I said, Pete, do me a favor. I said, yeah, why you want to I said, Pete, I need you to play third base. I play any place, Keith. Okay. Well, the first month of the season, he couldn't catch a cold down there. <laughs> so finally, I, said, I brought him in. I said, I want you to tell me exactly what you're thinking at third base. He said, he said, Skeet, and I said, dear God, please don't let him hit the ball. <laughs> and then he said, I look up again and say, and don't let him hit it to sacks either. <laughs> I knew I was in trouble. How did we go in L.A. from Walter Alston? It was like I was going from black and white to color. <laughs> Walter Alston, remember Walter Alston? This dude was already old when he was young, right? There's not a picture of Walter Alston, I don't care when you see it, that this dude didn't look 100 years old. <laughs> so then he, he retired, right? Oh, he, he managed well into his into his early 90s. And, 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 and then, so, so then Tommy comes, and Tommy's like a ball of energy, man. This it worked. LA is not ready, not ready for that. So this dude comes in, he's loud, he's active, he screams, he he he, he people he's laugh. Real. He's a real dude. I mean it was it was like a breath of fresh air. After this, I'm gonna tell my call my dad. I'm gonna go see my grandpa and tell him the stories because like he was talking about not only like these guys are famous, Tom and the Sword is famous, but he's talking about other greats. Like um, just it was amazing the stories he has about them. You know, at the beginning, like you know, your heart's beating. You're just like, oh my gosh, it's Tom and the Sword. Like as I was driving up, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm here to see Tom and the Sword. And I knew, and I found out Matt Kemp and George Lopez were gonna be here last night. And then I'm, you know, I'm in awe. And, awe. and then finally, we're just like, at the end of it, it's like eight regular guys just sitting here hanging out talking baseball you want to contribute more but you can't because you've never played in the big leagues but if they want to talk about teaching I can totally tell them about teaching I, I tell people I spoke I spoke to the AT&T computer company uh, I was the first guy to put a computer in the dugout I fed it all the information about every player and when I got in the jam I'd ask this computer what to do. And invariably, it gave the same answer. It said, fire the manager. So I got it the <laughs> hell out of it.